Welcome to Challenge Mode. Thank you for joining, everybody. I'm here with Xander Mobis, the announcer for Smash 4, as you could tell. So thank you for coming on, man. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem at all. I'm very appreciative. People have wanted to see you on ever since, like, the series began, so... Oh, I am happy to oblige. So, we're going to look at the stage list I sent you. And we're going to look at the neutrals. And between Lost Woods, Mashville, and Doubles Arena, what stage would you like to go to? The Lost Woods? Because that sounds rad. All right. All right. So, out of all curiosity, how did you end up getting the role as the Smash 4 announcer? Like, what was the process for that? Um... Honestly, it was pretty boring. Uh, I mean, in terms of like, I, I wish there was like a better story to it, but there's really not. Uh, I um, auditioned through my agent, and what the, what just happened? What did you do? They're How all you platforms. You just keep falling. Crap! Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> this is crazy. Ah, ah! You're scary. I don't want. Don't want. Um, yeah, I, my agent. Uh, up in Seattle sent me an audition for a Nintendo game. Ah, that was not supposed to do that. <laughs> Crap. I've not played with Cloud before, so this will be... This will oh, be. this is your first time playing Cloud? Uh, as far as I know, I'm. if I have played him before, it was like at a friend's house when I was super drunk. Um, <laughs> well, that's interesting. Let's see here. Okay. Ah, crap. All right. Sorry, I'm just figuring out my moves here. Um, oh, okay. That does that. That's cool. Uh, that definitely yeah, does um, that. So, yeah, my uh, my agent at the time, uh, what am I saying at the time? They're still my agent. Um, they sent me an audition for a Nintendo game, which of course was under a code name. Um, and so we, uh, or uh, I rather, uh, took a listen to the, they sent a reference uh, with the file. And uh -huh. it was like, oh yeah, so we're looking for a, uh, big announcer type for a new Nintendo game, uh, and can they sound like this? And then they sent a reference of uh, Pat Cashman from Brawl. Yeah. Uh, and the lines were like, you know, Mario, Link, Zelda. So you kind of had an idea that it was for the new Smash game. Yeah, I mean, I grew up on uh, Smash 64, and my brother used to torment me endlessly by playing NES. Um, <laughs> big game. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I did my audition for it and kind of assumed that everything that I would never hear back on it again, um, just because, you know, I'm not 50 and yeah, that sort of like deep baritone voice or anything like that. So I figured I don't have a chance. Oh, well, move on to the next thing. Uh, but then they called me in, and it was awesome. And, yeah, it was a fun time. And then it was all... It was just history from there? Uh, after that, it was um, basically just... I would go in, I would do my records, and... And as far as DLC characters went, did you ever know about it before they came out? Or was that was were the reveals just as much a surprise to you as anyone else? So obviously, I, I recorded lines ahead of time, but uh, and I've said this before. I, is he on my team? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh no, I was curious if which Luigi was on my team. I guess the blue. Oh, one. the blue one. That yeah. makes that makes the most sense. Oh, um, well, mine's stuck up there. But uh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my roommate's being a massive dick right now. I just want like the world to know that. Um, <laughs> Just the biggest dickhole. Uh, anyways, what? yeah, so I... Why do I keep... Oh, those that's lava! Shit. Yeah! Shut the fuck up, Bosco! I will come over there and murder you! <laughs> I know. Alright. So, uh, for anyone watching, uh, if you're a fan of Guilty Gear or of... Uh, what the fuck else was that? Uh, what was that other... Oh, Killer Instinct. That was it. Shut up. If you're a fan of either of those, my roommate is the voice of both Conra and Chip from Guilty Gear, and he's a oh, colossal really? douchebag. So, <laughs> oh, that's right, you're in Street Fighter, aren't you? So yeah, uh, instead of like following him on Twitter, just go and hate on him on Twitter. Like the real hate, vengeful hate. Not like any of the half hate, just like just go vengeful for it. 
petty hate. Hey, it's hard. I have to focus on talking and on playing at the same yeah. time. I only know which one I am. It's in the XCO. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we did a movie night where we uh, watched The Lion King 2. And I don't know when the uh -huh. last time any of y'all saw The Lion King 2 was, but there is some serious sexual tension going on between Simba and Kovu. Like, it is, it is there. It is you know real. What? I think I'm going to have to watch it just to satisfy the curiosity. Oh, yeah, there's this great scene where uh, Kiara is like, I want to go talk to my boyfriend. And Simba's <laughs> just like, no, I don't want you talking to him. And he gives him, like, the bedroom eyes. And, oh, okay, at least I took you there. The bedroom eyes. Oh, yeah, no, serious bedroom eyes. Those Disney animators, <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Wait, oh. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Is there... Hey, wait. Wait, press A and B. You can steal that Luigi stock. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. It's all you now. Yeah. Oh, this is going to end well. I keep forgetting which Luigi is mine and which one's yours. Hey, well, yours is gone, so you're fine. <laughs> mine is gone. All right. This is going to end real well. Oh, come <laughs> on. Do the thing. Do the thing. Ah, no, I didn't do the thing. Oh, no. Oh, dude, this, this teamwork, though. Oh, 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 I avoided that, but then I didn't. Crap. Sorry, right, you asked a question before uh, Ed came in here and was an ass. Uh, oh, yeah, it was about DLC characters. Oh, yeah, so uh, obviously I did the DLC sessions before the DLC characters came out. Otherwise, that would be yeah. weird. Um, it's a new feature in Space Falls the movie. We can watch it before the movie comes out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, one of those things where they uh, had a bunch of red herrings in the script, and they let me know ahead of time there are red herrings in this script. Oh, so did you have to read like a lot of names? Yeah, and they didn't tell me which ones were real and which weren't. So everyone kept saying <laughs> on like uh, on Twitter, a bunch of people were like, "You lied to us. You didn't tell us." What the? Oh, it was like, first of all, NDA, so I, I couldn't anyways, but I yeah. honestly didn't know. So, like, people were like, Cloud's in the game, and I was like, he is? <laughs> um, so that was, that was really, really cool. So, be, being that, like, you're the voice of this game, so is it is it weird playing it, or do you, tr do you turn the voice off? I mean, right now I'm playing on mute, uh... Honestly, I just don't really listen to it very much. Like, uh, I I own a copy on the 3DS, but I don't really play it all that often. Mostly because uh, the times I do get to play video games, I've, like lately it's been Fire Emblem Awakening. Um, uh -huh. Before that, it was Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright or meets Phoenix Wright, which was yeah. awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't play the game a whole lot, which is uh, illustrated by the fact that I'm terrible at it um <laughs> and also the fact that i'm terrible at it kind of feeds into why i don't play it a whole lot because yeah i understand honestly that. ever since i became the voice it became so much more embarrassing to be bad at this game <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, you know i absolutely understand you so much you think more about shit now yeah i mean when i first like I mean, it's not to the same caliber, but when I started playing this game, like, I wasn't good at this game. I'm still not good at this game. But people are like, you have a YouTube channel where you play this game, so we expect you to be great. So it's always disappointing when I'm not. It's... Ha-ha! That was totally you intentional, if anyone asks. Wait. Oh. Are the items on? I'm on? Did it completely fuck I don't... up? I don't know. Oh, it damn it. <laughs> Ever since I uh, booked it, they've I've gotten so much more shit when people kick my ass at it. Oh yeah, like when <laughs> go home. Oh, okay. So this was really weird. Uh, my uh, when I went home for uh, Christmas, when I was uh, visiting, like you know, my my uh, my parents, my brother, and then we went to my yeah. aunt and uncles, and my like little baby cousins who were like I don't know, like. I think they're nine and under now. Uh -huh. I think that's what they're at. Clearly, I see them a lot. Um, 
but a, they were super into Smash Brothers. And so everyone was like, oh man, it'll excite them so much that you're the voice of this game. You have to play this game with them. So I would. I, would I, I was like, all right, cool. And they just absolutely destroyed me at it. <laughs> Nine years old. So clearly I'm off to a great start here. But yeah, the great of part, The great part for me is that like everyone in my family made such a big deal about like, how much this would mean to them like oh it'll be so cool for them that their their older cousin is the voice in this game they didn't give uh -huh. a shit <laughs> like they just could not have cared less it was like that's me i did that and they're like uh-huh okay you're still losing so that that's all they cared about that they were winning yeah basically and then they spent the next three days beating the shit out of me. Whoops. Drawing me at this game. That's hilarious. Uh, oh, that's a cannon that you said. Ah, uh, that was supposed to be a side B. Yeah, so th those are those are my fun stories. Uh -huh. Hope that's been fun for y'all. So being that like, um, just being the Smash announcer, has it made the game less fun for you in a way? No, it's the thing is, it's a beautifully, beautifully made game. It really is. Yes, you know, absolutely. I, I'm just not the intended. Like, I'm not a fighting game guy. I enjoy yeah. them, but I'm not. Clearly, as illustrated, I'm not <laughs> very good at them. Um, they're just not the kind of game, like, I normally get into, like, RPGs and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I have a shield. Why have I not been using that? Here, dude, I'll, I'll let you check it out real quick. Shield's all oh, yours. Like... There it is. There you go. Okay, there it is. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fighting game guy. Uh, weirdly enough, what I've been playing recently, my brother got me a Mario Kart. Eight? No, seven for the 3DS for 3DS? Christmas. Yeah. I a lot of that. I like Mario Kart a lot. Mario Kart's fun, man. But I'm not I'm not a fighting game guy. I'm just not good. I don't have the reflexes for them. I like, uh, mostly I like strategy games. and. Uh, like, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, stuff like that. So, I... Yeah, I think my enjoyment of it is basically the same. I'm very proud of it. I'm very, like, uh -huh. getting yeah, to have no, my I name. Yeah, no, I mean, all the way through, it. like, the announcer clips are great. Like, you should be proud of those, at least. Uh, like, uh. getting to have your name on something as, um, as just this game and as, like, just uh, amazing. Because it, it really, like, it's it's still stunning for me to look at and think, like, I got to be a part of that. Yeah, I definitely understand that. And it's also been really nice. Uh, I've been uh, lucky enough to get to interact with um, with folks on Twitter and at conventions and stuff like that. And it's just, it, it amazes me how absolutely wonderful and supportive everyone in this community has been. So Yeah, they're, it's a super nice community all the way around, honestly. I feel like I enjoy it more as an outsider who, because of my job, gets to look in, sort of thing, if yeah. that makes sense. I understand that. Very grateful for that opportunity, and a lot of my friends are very, very into, um, very into the game. Like, when I go back to Seattle and hang out with friends there, half the time I'm at parties, this game ends up getting played and stuff like that. So it's it's... It's definitely nice to have more of that sort of connection with them. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Okay. there it is. Uh, you're, you're fine. You're, don't worry. You're fine. And there's the game. No, you're, you're alive. Oh, you're little Ike now. Uh, no, that that was it. <laughs> good games, sir. Yeah, good games, man. It's, it was fun having you on here. Because, like, as I said, everyone's... Everyone's wanted you on here for a while. I doubt. I think that's my internet connection. That I asked a lot of people on Twitter if uh, if they want to hear you say things in the famous announcer voice. So if you're up for that, I'm um, I'm down, man. Okay, so 
I'm going to read these to you. Um, Hold ramen! I'm a dirty, dirty duck, and I wear boot-cut jeans. Uh, Melee! We tech those! My body is ready! Always go for the disrespect. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it, man. I'm, I'm sorry, because I'm sure people do this to you all the time in every interview. I mean, that's fine. It's fun. It's fun for the whole family. Oh. Mad dog! This, this one's for me. Can you say how to play 101? How to play 101. Come on and slap. Not back air. Oh, nice back air. Oh, oh that's different then, isn't it? Nice back air. 